One of the greatest questions at Pong. What if I don't risk it all? Bet it all? Give it all? Talk inspired by um, some money I made in crypto. Made good money recently. Better than in my savings account or freaking bonds. It was risk, thousand percent risk, no guarantee, no safety net, just a calculated bet, calculated, educated, no hold barred bet, and. I came out victorious. And I'm, I'm at the crossroads again. Where I could bet it all again. And the reason I want to bet it all again is because, oh well, shit, why not? Why not now? Not even just going to the casino and say, yeah, man, um, put it all on black. I think someone did that on YouTube. They said, I'll put all my money on one color. <laughs> I'm like, oh, it's not really deserved. I think also a video that was linked to that was man finds his uh, soulmate after winning the lottery. I was like, what the fuck? Fuck it. Good for him, good for her. Such is life. And I've been reviewing my life some more, I think. About it. And I mentioned here before, either my only or my biggest regret in life is Could have been much more intense with it. Much more intense. I'm trying to look up that Dan Pena video where he says, uh, like, you know, was it three or four times he bet it all, bet everything, and now he's standing in the castle. <laughs> and uh, like, fuck. Former veteran, I believe he was uh, the army. That penny group down the street from me. He was in East LA. I'm in a different part of LA. So probably what 17, 20 minutes from here. Not towards the, the nicer side. And some of them say, yeah, we know it's so easy here. Crime's gone up uh, recently. I was looking at some old uh, crime stories, crime reported, and recent crime. Hmm. A 
it's funny, unfair, pathetic. But then he can also think, who gives a fuck if it's unfair? Life's unfair and that's the way it should be. But you're seeing a lot of crying. Thinking about getting lunch uh, somewhere. Where there was a murder recently. Right across the street from me. But then I remember, nah, the, the, the proportion isn't so big, so I'm not gonna be fool and put that price. And I'm thinking about that dead guy in there. That guy, that dead guy, could have been me. He just happened, but it just happened to touch him. It wasn't in the mood for a certain food, a certain drink, a certain munching. But I've gone through that. Um, is that is that really called a restaurant? I don't think if a restaurant actually deserves food like grilled meat or um, homemade or restaurant made buns or um, <laughs> yeah, but then I'm thinking, oh, really good fuck, it's not GMO, not organic when all this shit. We're putting vaccines in our bodies that are, you know, just recently made. You need to get the vaccine because you know if you don't get it, yeah. And, and also, that's a point that I'm remembering with. You know, that's common. I'm, I'm getting. I'm seeing more of that. Get the vaccine, man. You should wear a face mask more. And honestly, if you tell me that, um, now this may sound dramatic, but the more you say that, the less I trust you, the less sympathy and empathy I will have for you when dark times come. What and what's coming up? Civil war, the economic collapse. Um, fuck the Delta variant, fuck COVID-19, there's something darker up ahead. I don't know what it is yet, but I know that, um, it's in the works. It's in the works. I believe the YouTube channel is called Memology. I'm going to put one of them. Probably the most disturbing video yet. Uh, video of Dr. Fauci from the year 2002 on uh, C-SPAN. Face the nation. That speaks about how you can't uh, you can't tell people to get a vaccine. Force them. It must be done through education or something like that. And those are his words. And all, all I know is that I I just need money. I need to be careful there too. So I don't I don't need the money. But I know that that money will be a great tool for bribing. Buying a higher package, um, doing business with uh, more high-end properties, more high-end businesses, 
People say, no, man, you're corrupt, you're lying, cheating, stealing. No, no. no. Uh, look, look at Sky News. Sky, I think it's Sky 9 News, Australia. And then you'll see some of the comments on this one. Shit, put someone in a new COVID lockdown. And on the one in the comment section, they say, oh, you know, lockdown so strict that Thor, whatever his name is, can go on to the beach and just chill. But yeah, if, if I'm with people that are careful and you do something like that, you're going to have a bad day. Um, I'm not a fan of that stuff. Nope, I'm not looking for trouble either. But I'm not a fan of that shit. I think that's why I just work on this where you know let the SJWs and all the younglings, younglings, Generation X, Z, Millennials, man, let them duke it out. You know, it's just I want to do business out out of state, but as I'm looking at the fucking. Some of the shit at the airports. I'm like, what the fuck? And little two year olds get kicked off planes because they won't wear a fucking face mask. And the kids having their asthma attack. Fucking piece of shit. I'm like, flip, man. So I'd rather just, just focus on this. Uh, work undercover, work low key. Work with my clients, small clients. Get a couple more clients a week. Work with the businesses that we're already working with. And I didn't expect that. They did mention it a while back that probably that my greatest enemy from well, one that I vowed to took an oath to fight and defend against you know all for all enemies, foreign and domestic, and being in, living in Los Angeles, Los Angeles right now, the biggest um, terrorists, it's not the Bloods, it's not the Crips, it's not the KKK. Don't give me a bag, please. But that's um, well, the tool known as ignorance, misinformation, like Black Lives Matter, Antifa, and the other motherfuckers use. People say, well, you're a racist because you know, you're using that. And I think you do know that the, one of the Antifa co founders, Black Lives Black Lives Matter piece of shit supporters. They're buying their houses by lakes in white neighborhoods far away from the hood. And, uh, you know, me and myself have, have not kept on betting big on myself. It's been that reluctance that, uh, Oh man, that seems too too deep. It's a big risk. Let me chill out for a minute. And uh, victory, but not such such as not such a big a victory as it could have been. Could be. Some people say, "Man, fuck you, man, you're." This is very chiller, man. Look at you, man. You have a drawing desk and you could just chill out and you got your energy drink next to you. 
Damn, I still remember. Um, Spring Bills in Oakland. I'm going to one shop. Fuck that neighborhood. As I'm going there, as I'm looking uh, forward through my uh, my GPS, I'm thinking, fuck, there goes on some undercover cops right there. And they've uh, busted um, some drug dealers, I'm guessing. Patting them down, handcuffing them, hands behind their head. I said, yeah, I'm probably heading to a not nice zone. Then I see lookouts at bus stops. Then I see premium hoes. And I still remember one little black chick, 20, 21, 22 years old. Fucking nice, tight body, pretty face. Waving hi, hey. I'm like, mm, mm, mm. Bunch of a delicious bowl of AIDS. And, um, mm, mm, mm. Appreciate it. And then, you know, one of the nicer pieces of ass I've seen on the street. She wants to be a top dollar earner. Who was it? Yeah, I've done businesses in areas like that. Probably the most gangster. I think that one or that other place. I'll tell you one of the most gangster, gangster places um, the business at. The uh, waiting area. <laughs> the waiting area of the business, you gotta be buzzed in. Um, their, their security is probably tighter than most banks. It's at least a bulletproof glass at banks. With a ladder, you could just uh, jump over. This one had a spider web to uh, keep you from uh, the work and customer area to the waiting area. <sighs> I've done uh, some welding before. And then now that I reflect on it into welding, I'm thinking, fuck, man. Welding it. I'm thinking they probably welded it in there. And then uh, put it up. And also thinking right now, you know, these kind of stories I really can't share with a lot of people because, you know, when I come back with pockets full of money, a full gas tank, a full belly, souvenirs, rewards, money. I'm like, oh man, you got it so easy, man. It was so I could have done that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking chicken shit. And again, it's thanks thank to, I don't know what to call that, that title, to the core, to that brotherhood, to that school of life that. I was able to look at the deep end and be like, oh, that, um, it's possible. It's possible I could drown too, but let's not drown. <laughs> let's not drown today. And uh, get it done.
Except for now, motherfuckers. Get after it. Go forward. Trump. 2024. And remember, there are no easy days. Simply days where potential is not fulfilled. They're playing in the background. What happens if I don't better it all, put it all out of the line, risk it all, push it all? 